In part one of Area versus Perimeter, we created different shapes. And each one of those different shapes enclosed 24 square units. But the outer edges, the perimeter of these shapes were vastly different. We want to look now and see, is there any quality that gives more perimeter to a shape? All right. Now that we have our little shapes, all different sizes, the thing that they all have in common though is that they're all exactly 24 square units, even though they're vastly different shapes. I'm going to examine the perimeters. Now we're going to start with this little one right here. Area, we figured those all out yesterday, 24 square units. Now, on this particular shape, the perimeter was what? 24 <laughs> units. All right, now I need another one. Okay, here's one right here. Woo, look at that. Looks like a barn with a something coming out. Looks like Mario's thing. All right, here we have another figure whose area is 24 square units. <coughs> And the perimeter on this one was 29.49, 29.49. Now that's of course approximately because this one had some square roots of 2 in it. And square root of 2 is irrational, it's a decimal, it goes on forever. Alright, so the perimeter on this one is bigger than the perimeter on that one. Let's see, hold them up. Oh, here's one, look at that! Looks like an alien space station. Looks like a robot yeah. slash dragon. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a nice. It's a llama. It's a llama? Looks like a or, or uh, a camel. Or a dinosaur. Okay. It's a dragon robot. All right. Here again, the area is 24, but the perimeter on this one is 37.4. 37.4. Okay, let's take this one. Okay, look. Looks like a king. It kind of looks like a cartoon head or something. A transformer. All right, it's a transformer. All right. Here we go. Its area, again, is 24, but this perimeter is 30.31. 30.31. All right, let me find another one. Hold them up. Let me pick a good one. Ooh, here's one. Oh, those are both really good. Oh, all right, I'll take this one. Oh. All right, what does that look like to you? Looks like a dwarf's uncle. Oh, oh. <laughs> the perimeter on this one is approximately 31.09, and of course the area is 24. So we'll put that there. Okay, this one right here, oh, let's stick it over here. Okay. All right. Woo! And it works. Okay, 24 square units is the area, and he is saying that the perimeter is 40.14. Now, I need you to look like Charlie here. This is the winner of all these shapes. Nice. That one has the most perimeter. Which one is the smallest, has the smallest perimeter? That one. Yes, the one by the simple young man yeah. right over here. Yes, the simple one by the young man. Yeah. Yes. All right, now, woo, what do you notice about these shapes as the perimeter goes up? What happens to the shape on the bigger ones? What are you noticing? Some of them are wider. Like this is a big long strip? Yeah. And it had a... Uh, it has more open spaces. Oh no, spaces. this one was 37. Yeah, it has more open spaces. I'm liking that. Yeah. 37 was big. 31 was big. And that one was the biggest. Yeah. All right. Now, let me show you what happens here. Notice on Cody's, the top one, he took all of his blocks and he scooshed them together into like a little rectangle shape. And that is an efficient way to do area because it gets it all together in one place. And what it does, though, is it, it really minimizes the outer perimeter. Okay. Now, if you take a look at this one, boy, this kid, whoo, 
got all kinds of diagonals, got little halves here, and he's got like hallways all over the place. Same thing here. Big, long hallway here, half hallways. And then there's just a little section right here where the, the blocks are grouped together. Okay? And this one won because he had a lot of, he had uh, 10 square roots of two. The more diagonals you put in there, the longer your perimeter's going to get. And the more straight hallways, so to speak, that you put in, the more your perimeter's going to get. Now, I want you to try and imagine that these were houses, the floor plans of houses. Okay? And this is be a very funky architect doing this one, right? These are all walls here. Okay? And they're going to come up this way. Right? Perimeter is 40.14. Maybe that's yards. Who knows? Now, over here, the exact same amount of living space, 24 square feet, right, or square units. This house and this house have exactly the same amount of living space. Which one is going to cost more to build? Cody. Uh, right. This is going to cost almost twice as much to build as yours. Almost. Not quite, but almost. Because he has so much more walls. Okay? So... That is why when you are driving through a neighborhood, you'll notice that almost all houses are rectangular in nature. You ever notice that? Almost always. Because it is cheaper to build on a rectangle than it is to have all these fancy wings. You know, the west wing and the east wing and so on and so forth. Okay? Because it just takes more material to enclose the same amount of space.